Y'all, it's like a big girl job. Hello everyone. Okay, so I'm just coming on here for, I know I just posted a video yesterday, but I have really super exciting, wonderful news. Um, oh, by the way, I'm just like in my kitchen today instead of in the regular place on my living room floor. Um, so I have, so this is my kitchen, sorry. So I have some fun updates for you guys, um, which I'm really super excited about. So the first thing probably being wondering why I'm not in an apartment, <laughs> considering that was the reason I left <laughs> Disney World. Um, well, considering that was a big part of the reason why I left Disney World. So as soon as I got home, I, I talked through it all with my parents and all with Jack. Eventually we just kind of decided that it didn't make the most sense for me to move into the apartment because I was only going to be there for like two months and it like just, it was when I could just be living at home for the summer, not be paying money for rent, just save a lot of money that I don't have to spend on rent and trying to find a new job in Lexington. So long story short, and I promise that's not the only reason I left Disney World. So don't be like, oh my gosh, that's the only reason you left Disney World. I can't believe you didn't move into the apartment. It was a big reason, but that's not the only reason. I'm more than happy that I'm home and timing has worked out perfectly. So I'm not in Lexington. Um, I just decided to stay home for the summer. But when I was here, um, I applied for a job um, and I got it. I got the job and I'm so excited. It's like, y'all, it's like a big girl job. Like, I have a salary, which is crazy. <laughs> so nuts. So yeah, that's the biggest announcement of today. I just wanted to let you guys know that I have job and I'm so excited so just to give you guys a little like information about what it is so it's in Danville so I will be in Danville for the next year which is super exciting and the job is with um, the Community Arts Center in my hometown which is absolutely incredible I just adore what they do for the community and so I'm so excited to get to be a part of it so our community arts center, it is a gallery and it has exhibitions that come and show and everything like that, but it also organizes art classes for the community. So they have like pottery and like arts and crafts for kids and dance classes and music classes, things like that. So they have, so it's the community arts center, that's kind of what they do. They're just a place to expose the community of Danville to the arts. And it's just really exciting that I get to be a part of it. So. The job that I got hired on for is a full-time position and the way it works is that it's like a year-long position. I'll only be with the Community Arts Center for the year, but it's really cool. So it's technically like a, it's called the Nonprofit Fellowship. So I'll be like a fellow that's working there for the year. So it's not like I'm hired on, you know, for the rest of forever. It's just a year-long job, but which could not be more perfect for me right now because I'm in this transition period. I'm just gaining experience, stuff like that. So, I mean, it literally worked out so perfectly. I couldn't have hand chose like a better opportunity for me. Oh my gosh, it's just incredible. So, my job is just kind of, it seems to be kind of like a variety of stuff that I'll be doing. When I was in the interview, they were like, you know, it's just going to kind of be, you know, helping people when, you know, they can't, they need your help. They're going to call you and you go help them. And I'll be working like the front desk. So like the circulation desk in the front of the gallery. So a big part of my job is just going to be, you know, interacting with people as they come in and talking to them and seeing where they're from, all that kind of stuff. Just really knowing about the um, exhibitions that are showing, things like that. And... Yeah, and then just kind of being a part of the environment, helping in whatever way that I can for anyone who needs it. The Community Arts Center is a nonprofit, so I'll be learning a lot about um, just kind of how that side of, how the business side of that works and what that looks like, and I'll be helping the executive director and um, just kind of learning those things and what it looks like too. So I'm just so excited. 
like if you guys I mean you guys know me but I feel like there's a large part of my life like the art side of my life that you guys don't know as much about just because I didn't really get to dive into that in Orlando as much but that is one of the biggest parts of my life that has developed over the past couple of years and I just absolutely adore it and my dream one of my dream jobs I have like two or three that I like don't really know what direction I'm gonna go in one of my dream jobs is to um, work for a gallery or for a museum um, and be the curator for the museum so th while this job isn't like specifically like maybe helping me gain skills in those areas like alone I'm just gonna have a lot of knowledge coming in about what it looks like to kind of be on the administration side of a gallery and of a business that's centered around the arts and things like that so this is just gonna be absolutely incredible on a resume and I'm gonna gain so much experience and I'm just so excited because I know in the upcoming years I'll be moving to Louisville because that's where Jack got accepted into grad school and it's just like one of the biggest cities in Kentucky and they have museums everywhere and tons of opportunities and so I'm just so excited to have like a year of experience underneath my belt where I can really talk about just like working in a gallery and interacting with people in that way and just being an environment that is supporting the arts and kind of pushing that initiative forward so i'm just over the moon about it and i'm just so grateful that they hired me and oh my gosh like i'm just so excited and just for those of you who are watching who are on the college program and are nervous about accepting food and beverage or custodial or any of the jobs because they don't relate to what it is that you want to do I mean during my interview they asked tons of questions about Disney and it's just crazy like the experience that comes from Disney even though it isn't in a field that you want to do it was really cool to have them ask me questions and they're like so what did you do at Disney and I was like honestly I scooped ice cream for eight months it has nothing to do with what I want to do for the rest of my life but I learned so much from it that I really feel it can apply directly to me in this job just from being you know having a positive attitude and being detail oriented and focused on what the customer wants and how I can create a better experience for them and you know just cash handling proving to them that I'm you know can be responsible for money tons of money coming in at one time so for those of you who are like I don't know like it's food and beverage or you know I'm just gonna be like cleaning the toilets I don't know if I want to do this like just do it because it just looks amazing to have worked for such an incredible company and it just proves the professional business minded mindset that you can have just working for the company and learning what it is to work for a company like that and all the standards that they hold themselves and their employees to so just some encouragement for you guys and some really exciting news on my side I am so 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 excited to start this adventure and to have the next year here in Danville just surrounded by art and things that I love so that's it it's just a quick video to update you guys on what's happening thank you all for watching I'm so excited to share this information with you guys and I'll see you again soon <laughs> bye